Welcome to part 23 SQL reporting service. Today we are going to look into the interactive sorting and why do we need an interactive sorting. In the past session we saw like you know while configuring a report uh, what the problem was we configured the sorting like uh, clicking on it and then making a tablex properties and then going to the sorting and we configured the way the things we wanted all right and after that we saw the preview so it was like pretty you know ugly that every time if i want to do the change the sorting then i had to go back and i need to change the design so there, there has got to be a better way so what are we going to do is now we are going to again select the tablex all right we are going to continue the same but once again i'll just remove everything and if everybody everyone if anyone is new who's catching along so i'll show that person that what we did all right so sorting what we have applied is gone now so in the past session what we did was uh, we just simply created a data source all right in the data source uh, we simply selected the category name product name uh, quantity per unit and unit price that's all we selected and we apply the sorting using a table x all right so now the sorting is removed and now it's time for us to add uh, you know the interactive sorting so you need to be very careful while applying the interactive sorting what you need to do is as you can see there are two sections one is a header which is in green color all right and the second section is the data which is keep on repeating itself so instead of selecting the data section we are going to select the header section so when you select the header section you can select the text actually you don't need to select the text once you select the text then you need to hit the escape the moment you hit the escape you can select a box right you can see a gray box then on that box hit right click and then choose the text box properties next thing what you need to look at is do not touch anything simply go to interactive sorting enable interactive sorting for the text box okay and then you're going to do it by rows for rows the detail rows if you have applied any groups then you can go by group or otherwise it is fine then over here you need to specify that you're sorting by category name and then you hit ok all right so the moment you do that and you save it let's see and uh, how the preview looks like so you see there are tiny arrows ups and downs so right now you see the data is not sorted the two records for beverages and then etc etc then I'm gonna choose click on the beverages so all the beverages are sorted in the ascending order I'm gonna click that button again so now it gets sorted in the descending order so now this is what the user need this is a comfortable kind of a sorting we are looking for right so this is good next thing I'm gonna do the same for product right so I'm gonna double click and I'm I make sure the text gets selected and then I'm gonna hit escape and then again I'm gonna say right click and then properties and now I go to interactive sorting and again I'm gonna do same and I'm gonna say sort by and I'll say by product name and I'll simply hit ok and let me save it and let me preview it so now you get two types of sorting going on so now you're sorting by products alright so sorting by products ascending this is descending then beverages and now that's a seafood so this is cool this is called as interactive sorting I hope this video gives you an idea how can you do the interactive sorting so make sure do not forget to practice this thing alright and if this video helps you in any way then please give me a thumbs up to my video and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video good night and take care